update on Kawhi after he left the game and Kevin Hart? No, ma'am. Okay. Um, defensively, D'Angelo was able, or uh, Brandon Ingram was able to kind of get to his spots. Um, Trey Murphy was had a career night from deep. What adjustment did you have to see defensively that you didn't? Um, that I wanted to see that I didn't? Yeah, I don't know what that means, but um, from a standpoint, of just I thought to start the game, they were faster than us. They got out in transition. Um, they created mismatches in transition because of the way they pushed it. We weren't able to get back and get matched. And uh, like I said, Ingram came out and got to his spots early in the game. Then we tried to double team and fire, which opened up Murphy to get threes. And so you just kind of pick your poison. But I thought they really came out to attack us tonight, and they did that. And then on the offensive end, you know, 20 turnovers with 28 points is too many, especially for a fast team like this. You can't get to the live ball turnover and expect to get back and get, get matched in transition. So uh, it was a tough game for us tonight. You know, they played well. Hats off to them. Hey, Coach, um, obviously Kawhi struggled tonight, 4 for 16, and now with no PG moving forward. Move, with these last eight or nine games left, how do you guys want to be able to generate points if Kawhi struggles like what he did tonight? Um, it's going to happen. You know, it's part, it's part of the game. Yeah. I think um, just continue to get to our next actions. Don't, like, we get stagnant at times, like you said, trying to look for Kawhi. Yeah. And, um, when he doesn't have it going, we've got to continue to run our offense. And um, we've been doing a pretty good job of that since January 1st, but tonight was one of those. I mean, we shot 52% and 45 from three, but it still didn't look good. It was a it was a nasty flow to the game. And um, um, so that happened. So back to the drawing board. And like you said, Spain's we can clean up, you know, taking care of the basketball. I think, you know, getting back in transition defensively and understanding what we're doing, you know, defensively. And tonight was a tough night um, when both of them are off and, you know, you kind of play against a team that's pretty good and you struggle. Ty, do you see any parallels between the slower start from the starters tonight and against Oklahoma City on Thursday, this revamped starting lineup? Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's been tough, you know, I think starting to start games, it's, it's tough to dig yourself a hole and try to climb out every single night. And so, uh, we got to be better, like I said, starting games and having that mindset like we did in the last OKC game, you know, just um, after that first, you know, six, seven minutes of just having the physicality on the defensive end, I think hitting bodies, I think offensively learning how we want to attack, getting to the paint, making the right play. And uh, tonight we just didn't have a lot of juice and a lot of pop. So um, nothing to get discouraged about. We just got to be a little better. Yeah, uh, what, what did you see uh, uh, on that uh, the second unit way? Constructed now has gotten there. Like, what did you see with them compared to the last game? No, I think just their pace. I think, um, you know, Bone struggled a little bit the first time he came in. You know, I missed a couple shots, had a couple turnovers early. But I like that unit and what they give us T Man, Nico, um, Bones, and, and um, you know, Mace. And then Russ comes back to that group. I think it makes us faster. Um, we got a good pace, we share the basketball. And so we can create different things, I think, defensively too. And so, um, tonight we just didn't have it, you know, either side. And so it's, it's nice like that. So now we got to move on and get ready for Monday. Cool. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Uh -oh.